Hey y'all, it's Molly with Mini Acres, and I am here in Northwest Florida, Zone 8. Oh, I hear a neighbor revving up. So you can see, I have been cutting on these sunflowers. These were already 20 to 30 days sooner than I had expected. And these gold light sunflower, they are so pretty. So I have a few I need to harvest. The ones that are imperfect, like this one and and this one i'm leaving those i'm just gonna let the bees enjoy them even though these are pollenless flowers they do still have nectar for the bees and then all of these sunflower uh, sunflowers all of these zinnias this is the oklahoma mix they are definitely tiny but then the binary giants they're just i had no idea like i've seen them on videos but they are really big and bright and bold. They're very pretty. There's some of the white ones and the lime ones. And then we get down here. This is my queen lime mix. This one has three heads. Have you seen anything like that before? Isn't that neat? I haven't cut it. I mean, I guess I could. I could still use it. It's, it's really neat looking. The basil is blooming. This smells like Fruit Loops the oh look at that those marigolds are taller so maybe they'll bloom soon cosmos just a few blooms on those celosia there's my celosia i got from jewels it's, it's such a pretty purple oh look this one is the one that looks like a brain it's doing its thing getting kind of swirly whirly that's the technical term down here and more sunflowers that have already bloomed so I'm gonna cut a few flowers I'm still only getting enough flowers for maybe one or two bouquets a week I feel like I want to have more variety available like you know like maybe at least three different bouquets that all look a little different before I'm like hey y'all do you want to buy a bouquet not that I'm like avoiding getting on social media and putting myself out there and trying to actually sell bouquets that's not it at all um, also, I did go ahead and put out some sad looking sunflowers. There were two trays after the one that was the complete disaster tray from my failures video. I just went ahead and planted them out. They might be small enough that mice come and eat them or something else, but I needed the trays. And so I just went ahead and planted them out. I'm going to show you. They look kind of sad because it's been raining and they're under cover to keep them from getting sunburnt, so maybe they'll perk up. I just planted them out this morning, uh, so we'll see. If any of them perk up, then that's better than nothing. But I will say, oh, it's starting to rain again. But I will say, all of those seeds came from Haas Tools. The first batch of seeds that came from Haas Tools, all of my light-colored sunflowers, those had almost 100% germination. So I don't know that it's the seeds, because it's been the seeds that were the fall color flowers. But I did wind up ordering more seeds from the Gardener's Workshop because they had a free shipping on seeds only sale. And when I realized I could plant at least another three works, three weeks worth of seeds before the end of my season, I just went ahead and ordered their fall mix blends, which are the same colors of what I was planting, but it's just, you know, it's a mix. Another thing is I found an assassin bug in the carport and I went ahead and caught her and brought her out here to Sunflowers. And I only did that because I saw a video where Lisa Mason Ziegler did that. She moved an assassin bug from one spot to another spot in the garden. And so then I wasn't afraid to do it. But now I don't know where she is. And I don't want her to bite me because they do get aggressive. But hopefully she'll help take care of some of the bugs out here. All right, now I'm going to show you what my husband's been working on. Um, he finally was able to get started on it today. I have no idea how long it's going to take. You know how it is with projects, big projects, but we are finally fencing in um, a yard for our animals that is more secure than the fences that we've had up previously. Let's see if you can see how it goes down here. And so there'll be a fence all the way around the house and like it'll be connected to this fence and then on the other side it'll be connected and go over there and I kind of feel like I have to whisper because I don't know if the neighbors can hear me but you know the saying neighbors make good fences no <laughs> the 
Fences make good neighbors. I gotta go this way. You know the saying, fences make good neighbors. That's the truth. Um, it's just, it's time. There has been damage to our other fences. And so now animals are getting through. It's just better for everyone if we just repair our fences. And that starts with fencing in an area for our dogs. And then we'll worry about the bigger fences later. This is one of the dogs I'm referring to. So he's going to be safer and more secure in the yard with the dogs. And I can't, apparently he doesn't even care about being on this video. I am procrastinating on getting started with my fall seeds just because it's still so hot. And I, will, I won't have much room inside And if I start everything all at once. So I'm trying to space, I'm trying to pace myself and then space it all out. And um, probably cutting back on some things for the fall just so that I can have some more time to rest because I know that I'm burnt out and a lot of my friends are talking about being burnt out too and taking a break for fall and I think it's a good idea. 